Hello everyone, and this is Power Wash Fantasy. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode where I'm going to clean some more things, or at least another place. Let's go to career, and let's continue where we left off last time on it, which is the temple. And yes, we're rolling solo again after that short last episode where I cleaned that tip right nice on that drill. Actually, before I start, let me check the temple to make sure there's not an achievement that goes along with this temple. So if the temple is there a Chivo? In the temple, ensure the gnome is on the tower roof once the job is complete. Gnome on the tower roof. You got it. That's all I got to worry about, and that's all we're going to worry about. Who's ready to clean this temple, y'all? Let's do it. Now, I will... Meh, we won't talk about it right now. Let's just go ahead and get started, shall we? Let's clean this temple. Oh, I like this. It's like, it's got story to it. We're climbing the hill to go clean the temple. It looks like the gnome is there. What was the, wait, hold up. What was the achievement again? Make sure the gnome is on top of the temple? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Does that mean if we knock him down, we got to put him back? Is that the idea? Is on the tower roof once the job is complete. So you can knock him off probably and you don't want to do that. I think that's kind of the idea. So all right, we'll, we'll try to make sure we don't do that. But, okay, let's get cleaning, y'all. We don't care how fast we clean it. We just got to clean it. Where do we start? We start with the whole thing. Get it clean, y'all. Here we go. This place isn't that huge, but it's like there's enough nooks and crannies here that it could take a while. We'll see how it goes. I mean, for $7.50, you better be giving me, you know, nothing too cray-cray. But still, you got to give me something to clean to where we work. We do work. Anyway, I'm starting with this pedestal because why the hell not, you know? Make this a nice, clean pedestal. We've already done 2% of the whole job. Killing it. Killing it. 2% of the dirt is gone. Can you believe it? Starting with just every piece of dirt I could see. It's nice to be doing, like, a regular building instead of that damn gnome fountain. I swear that gnome fountain... <laughs> like, I liked it, but holy shit, that thing was huge, and I was not expecting it to be that large when I saw the picture of it, but then when me and Morrow started it, I'm like, oh my god... Bonus job indeed. Speaking of bonus jobs, this game released yet another patch recently. On top of the SpongeBob one we talked about when me and Morrow did that level with the gnomes, which was a new uh, DLC they added. It's a paid DLC, mind you, so we haven't bought it yet. But if we do decide we want to do the paid DLC of SpongeBob, it'll probably be me and Morrow together doing that. But if and when, until and when that happens, in the meantime, we'll be playing the other bonus jobs, I hope. Yeah, I don't know what her interest is in actually doing the rest of the career mode with me in general, let alone, you know, recording it, streaming it, whatever. So that's why I've just been doing the career mode on my own when I have time to record it, you know. So, yeah. But the uh, the bonus, like, special jobs are the ones I'm like, you know what, me and her should do those together because those are cool. Otherwise, I probably would have already done all those because they do look cool. But anyway, I was saying they added some more of those. I think there's like four new ones, because before there was only four special jobs, now there's eight. Or at least I think it's eight. Maybe it's more than that even. But anyway, I can't really do them unless I get enough stars in the career mode to unlock them all, though. Like, the initial four were unlocked from the beginning, right? Or they at least unlocked after maybe a certain amount of stars, I'm not sure. But I've had those unlocked for a long time, is my point. But the new ones, I don't actually have unlocked all of them yet, so I don't know how many stars I need. I'm up to 115, so maybe it's 120 stars? Maybe after this level, we'll find out. Anyway, we're getting some cleaned pieces, which is good. The door's clean. We're up to six whole percent on the dirt, man. We're killing it. The door is basically clean at this point. I don't know why I'm still even bothering. Don't even know why I bother. Get it clean AF while I listen to some Shovel Knight and some dope ass music. We just love some good old Shovel Knight music. Shovel Knight music does go hard. Alright, we got a staircase clean. Good shit. Focus on this other front pe pedestal, I guess. Because why not? This is what we do. And I will still maintain that this orangish yellow nozzle is still the best nozzle. No matter what goddamn sprayer you're using. It covers more surface area than the regular as basics red thing. But it still cleans as good as the red. You just have to hold it in place on some of these 
you know, more grimier things like graffiti and such. Which, I haven't seen any graffiti on this one, so that's nice. But the Gnome Fountain had plenty of graffiti to deal with. Hence another reason why the Gnome Fountain was such an, a task to undertake to defeat. Defeat the dirt upon the Gnome Fountain was quite a task. I think this pedestal is just about done. Just gotta get these upper sections. Yep, I think the pedestal is done. And so is the Brajir. He's a good old Brajir. Alright, keep it moving. Get the dirt off it. We have to 10%, y'all. We're killing it. We're killing it. Hold on one second. I am recording, right? <laughs> I'd be mad at myself if I wasn't. Alright, we're good. Sorry, for a second, you know, I had that anxiety. Because I had my music um, list up so I can see what songs are coming up and what's playing and all that. But, like, I have it covering up my actual recording, so I'm like, oh shit, am I recording, right? <laughs> yeah, we're good, though. We're good. We are family. I'm gonna make all this shit clean. Uh, 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 uh. Like, I don't even know where to, like, start going upwards, start working on everything, you know? If you know there's some dirt and some grime, get it, boy, get it. This thing is pretty tall, so that's why we're only at 13%, even though it seems like we've cleaned this whole front section. Front section is the shortest part, man. we got a long way to go up. That's for damn sure. That's why I like the beauty of this sprayer, man. It's so good. Spray so good. Make the coochie go ooh ooh. Alright, that corner post is done. This pedestal's not done, huh? Oh, I probably have to spray the, like, up here. Yep, there you go. Called that. Make sure we get this little ledge here. Yep. Wall base clear. This boot, this buttress. Working on this still. The buttress of Windsor. Oh, yeah. Looking real nice. That's a nice buttress right there, you know what I'm saying? Gotta tell that girl she got a nice buttress, you know what I'm saying? Yo, girl. Who you got on that buttress? Because that shit is fly, homie. That's a fat buttress right there, you know what I'm saying? Nah, I mean. Not what I'm talking about. Girl got that bu buttress for days. <laughs> the flying buttress. I don't know. I'm just trying to be stupid now at this point, but it's all good. All right, this buttress goes all the way up, so I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get it 100% from all the way down here, but we'll do our best to spray every nook and crayon we can reach, and if we get a complete on anything along the way, dope sauce. I'm assuming we're missing some upper sections on the buttress over here, so... Not gonna worry about it, I'm just gonna keep working my way down along, along the side. Once we work it from the top, then we'll worry about what we're missing, you know what I'm saying? Did I get this panel? This wall? Not this wall. Did I get this wall? This wall's done. Window was almost done. Window is now done. The, the window to the wall is not done. Wooden trim is done. Yeah, this wall around this is not done, which is interesting. Honestly, it should be about done. It's because there's some crevices above and that, like, fleur-de-lis on the wall that I have to get to. And that's fine. I understand those things. All right. Storm? 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 That says stone, fool. Stone base is clean. <sighs> Again, this buttress has some above situations I got to get to, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. I guess I'll keep working my way around this side then. Working my way around this stone base. Stone base Steve Austin, baby. Looks like this wall base counts all the way around this little side window. I'm up to 20% though. Huh. The head monk sent them all on a pilgrimage of faith, huh? You know, meanwhile, I'm cleaning this shit. They're going to have all the faith when they get back because this shit's clean as fuck. You know what I'm saying? 
worship in the house of cleanliness. Cleanliness is right up there next to godliness, from what I've been told. Or something like that. <laughs> I forget what that, that line is from. I mean, it's from... Oh, please wait. I'm pretty sure it's from Sunny, Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I just don't remember who said it and in what context, or even if I had the quote right. But it's definitely from Sunny in Philadelphia if I had to pinpoint a location where that quote I just said kind of sort of came from. Ooh, I didn't get the underneath gooch on that. All right, good shit. Got to make sure you get those underneath gooches, man. Keep that gooch clean, bro. Make the coochie, make the go gucci go gucci coochie, gucci gucci. Make sure the coochie is or the go. Make sure the gucci is gucci. You know what I'm saying? Because if if the gucci ain't gucci, then we ain't gucci. Alright, anyway, this side. The rough ride, the dip, 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 dive. I think for the most part, anything I'm missing on this wall, it's all from above. Or finish it from the side, so to speak. Wall base. I don't know whether a stone base cuts it cuts off to the next piece, but I assume this stone base is almost done. As he says it, it's done. Good shit, good shit. That wall base is done. Good times. That wall's done. Hallelujah. I mean, we're already a quarter way through this level, so we're going a lot faster on this than I was really expecting in terms of like how f percentage quickly. So that's good. I really thought this was gonna be one of those levels that takes me like over an hour, but maybe it won't, or maybe it will. We will see. I mean, a $750 pay is no joke, but it's also not the highest I've seen in the game, you know what I'm saying? I mean, shit, that drill we did last time, which took me like 12 minutes or some shit like that. Less than 10 minutes? I don't know. It was pretty fast. That shit only took me like 10 minutes, and it was like a $250 thing. I'm like, that's, that's kind of a lot for how fast that went, so... I don't know. Can I upcharge these fuckers, you know what I'm saying? Like, what the hell? Let me get in here, get these crevassiers, leave no crevassier behind, you know what I'm saying? I right, got that stone base good. Yeah, in terms of pieces, it's like whatever. If I miss a piece, this seems like an easy enough to figure out which piece I'm missing type of, like where the location of the pieces are, at least so far. Again, I haven't gotten up to the top. And found annoying pieces yet. Like, I don't know, finishing these buttresses might end up being super annoying. We'll see. I feel like most of it's just above notches I can't see from below, if that makes sense. Yeah, anyway. As long as we know the buttress is this long thing on the side here, we'll be good. Wall's clean. This wall base is not clean because I probably have to get this. Yep. Stone base is already done over here. Good stuff. We got this back pedestal. Oh my god. The window back here too. This place got a real ass on her. Yo, that temple got booty though. <laughs> Still got the whole other side to get to. Yeah, this base side, man. Ooh, mama. That's a big percentage of this whole level right here, man. It's crazy. Anyway, let's not let's not get too far around the other side, but I'm still working on this side. I'm not I haven't worked my way up these walls yet. Gotta get all the walls to ball until they fall. Make sure we get these pedestals in the side uh, corner posts too. Let's not leave anything undone if we can help it. Make these boys clean as fuck. 
so do we have any fun topics to talk about today? I don't even know. I mean, I really don't. I was just watching a video earlier about how Starfield has been leaked like a motherfucker. I don't know when the hell I'm posting this episode, by the way, so this, for all I know, Starfield will be out by the time I post this, but there's been some big Starfield leaks, which is pretty funny. Not a game I'm particularly hyped for myself, but I know a lot of people are. You know, anticipating that game and hoping that it'll be awesome, you know, not knowing for sure. Healthy skepticism, but also hearing good things. But now that it's been leaked, there's been mixed mixed opinions. But there's also been some actual, like, legit reviews from, like, game sites already on the game. I seem to say it's a decent game. You just, it starts off, it's one of those start slow games that gets better and better as you go type of games. And I'm like, that's fine, I guess. You just have to get past the initial, you know, whatever, if it's boring or whatever in the beginning, I don't know. But apparently getting past the initial whatever of the game is kind of the the, the, the f mutual feeling on the Starfield so far. But yeah, a lot of people were, from the leak part, skeptical because it just looks like there might be a lot of boredom with the procedurally generated stuff, which, you know, if you procedurally generate stuff, I would say it's pretty hard to actually make something that's always interesting if it's procedurally generated. I'm not saying it can't be done, it has been done. I'm just saying it's not easy to pull that off and make it good. Huh, did I clean the window decoration on this one? Yeah, that's done. Okay. There's a lot of pieces here that I didn't technically finish. But that's okay. Some things are just too high up and you can't expect to get it all from below. You know? But we get what we can. Spray what you can, and then we'll get up there via the scaffold or whatever, and we'll make this our bitch. But yeah, as it stands with Starfield, like I just mentioned, I've been doing too many space games lately as it is, so it's like, I have no desire to even look at another new space game that I hadn't even had on my radar in the first place. I know a lot of people are excited about it, but I'm, you know, I could really give a shit. If it turns out to be one of the best games of all time, or some shit like that, then yeah, okay, sure. Put it on my radar and I'll play it someday. But certainly not on my to-do list, even when it comes out. Got too many other games waiting in the wings. I spent this a lot of this year already touching up on games that were new to me. And like newer, that came out recently. Tears of the Kingdom from SC16. Knocked those out. Which I'm glad I did, I love those. Those games were both great. So I'm glad I did them when I did them. But, you know, they were both longer games, at least tiers specifically. Uh, 16 wasn't super duper long, but, you know, it was RPG length of a game, so it took a while. And uh, while I'm happy I played them and they're great, they did put a big old halt on playing anything else I had planned for the year. Although, granted, those were plans for the year. I just didn't know how long they would be because they were new games, right? You don't know how long a new game's going to be until you start it. Or until somebody else finishes it and tells you how long it is. And come to find out those were, uh, well, I'm glad 16 wasn't another open world fucking giant ass game. You know, I feared that would be the one thing about, compared to 15 it would be, it would be super open and it would take a long time. And it wasn't quite that, which I actually was okay with overall, even if it didn't feel like a super RPG game, it felt more like an action game, because it was. It's still a great game and it's super fun to play, so. And it's super good story and music and style and graphics, like, so good. I feel like it was the first real PS5 game I played. And that's saying a lot, so. Not that I've played a lot of PS5 games, but like, I don't know how many games are considered like a real PS5 game, and it feels like it, you know, you wouldn't have got that experience anywhere else. But yeah. And then of course Tears of the Kingdom was just like, take Breath of the Wild, which is a great game, and just multiply it, because it's just, oh man, Tears of the Kingdom was so good. I'm trying not to spoil anything, because I know some people who are watching this probably don't even know what the hell and don't have any interest, or if they do, they haven't played those yet. But just know that those are good, both great games, and if you have any idea or any desire to play either of them, do it, because they're both great. But like I was saying, they put a big old hold on a lot of other games I could play this year that I wanted to get around to, and, well, now we're starting to tap into that. I mean, this is one of those games where I'm just going to be playing it eternally until I actually finish the career mode, so... Even if the episodes are super spread out, it's just the nature of the game. It's not the most interesting game to watch and or play all the time because you're just cleaning shit, but I still want to finish the game. I'm still a 
the completionist in the Funky G still exists, even with a game like this. And it's like, I still want to see all the rest of the levels. I want to see what we clean. For better or worse, you know. I want to see that shit done, boy. And so it shall be, eventually. I haven't really sprayed this window up here yet. Been kind of a, going around it. Not on purpose, just kind of happened that way. Alright, window. Get clean. Get clean. From the window to the thing. Get cleaned in the thing. Oh, yeah. Alright, that wall, that buttress, that base. Make sure the stone base parts are clean. The buttress, we know. Stone base can be cleaned. And the aforementioned wall base slash walls that go along with them. So, you know. Get them clean, yo. Make them clean as fuck, yo. We're almost halfway done with all the dirt, though, so that's, that's pretty dope. We haven't even gotten on any pedestals or anything, and we're not even all the way around the building yet, so... I wager we'll be past 50% before we're all the way around, which is good. It's a high value percentage. I like to see it. You love to see it. Make it clean AF, yo, clean AF. Clean AF, yo, clean AF, yeah, 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 oh yeah, that's good. Where's the stone base part I'm missing? Get that clean, yeah. Oh, right. Wall base, this little crevices count. Don't miss your crevasses. Because they count. Alright, window and decoration done. The frame, I may have to get that from above. I think the other one on the other side was the same problem. I couldn't make it all the way clean from this angle we get as much as possible and we good we Gucci main all right the post done this wall is probably about to be done good stuff oh we've almost worked our way all the around all the way around which is good like I said, and then we'll bust out that that scaffold and get up there. So yeah, we've gone all the way around now. Almost all the way around. We're almost there. And we're going to be over 50%, which is good. Makes me a happy boy. Seeing that percentage so beefy. Should we might be pushing 60 by the time this wall is done, but I'm not going to hope for that. I'm just going to hope for the best. We won't be pushing 60. 55 for sure. 60 not likely. By the time we finish these bases and stuff, probably not. But it's fine. 55 is a reasonable number, right? It's almost 54, right? Right? There's 54, okay. 55 may be a hope and a dream, but there's still this whole side to go, so maybe. Just saying, it's a maybe. It's a strong maybe. There's a pedestal. There's a post. Oh, yeah. 55 for sure. Come on. Give it to me. Give me that 55 like you fucking love me. Do it. <laughs> it's like, how can someone make interesting commentary for this game? Again, talking about random topics helps, but, like, once you get past those topics, what do you talk about? I don't know. You fucking babble about whatever. Trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to chat about besides the whole Starfield thing, because initially, honestly, that's just the first thing that came to mind. Because I was watching that video like literally five minutes before I started recording this whole session of this game. This whole session, it's been one level and now another level. That fucking drill level, though, is like pathetically short. It was crazy. Anyway, we're up to that 55%. I was saying we could be up to. Let's uh get a scaffold or something and get up there man because we need to get up higher I mean I might as well just start back here I 
I'll just start back here and start spraying and praying. First of all, there's stuff up here. We need to spray all this shit. Get these pieces done, yo. Make these pieces done as fuck, yo. Alright, I'm sure it's the top of the window frame that needs the rest of the spray. Oh, yeah. And... Huh, not quite, huh? Really thought that was gonna do be the... Be all she wrote. We're not even at the top of this? Oh my god, okay. I'm for sure I was on the top of this. Whatever, just keep spraying all the dirt you see, regardless of where we are. There's no reason to keep going up until you've gotten everything you can see and reach from where you are, you know? Every angle matters, because you might not see some dirt of another angle if I move up higher. You never know. Clean it all, motherfucker. How's this window frame not done? Like, what the hell? It's crazy talk to me. I kind of want this window frame to be done, but I was like, underneath... Ah, there it is. The literal under gooch of this fucking window frame. You are dismissed. It's like, there's got to be some obvious big spot if it just won't finish, you know? When you're that close, it's just like an obvious spot that you definitely had to have missed. Alright, so we're cleaning this side from afar, but it's all good, baby. We do have the extendo reach-o arm if we really need to get closer, you know? Now we're pushing that 60%, which is pretty sweet. There we go. Clean windows. I like it. There's that 60% mark. I love it. Damn, this fucking rooftop is looking right ugly. There's so many spottiness spot spots that I'm missing up here. It's okay. That's why we go slowly higher and higher. From every angle you can see that shit. You fucking clean that shit, boy. Every conceivable angle. I don't even know how well I can stand on the roof of this place. It's like in Shit looks treacherous up here, man. Ah! Falling hurts the bitty. I'm about to jump on that small roof and be like, let's fucking finish this, yeah, bruh. Oh, under gooch. Gotta get the under gooch. Oh, fuck. Stop falling, dude. Uh, I keep accidentally running. I'm just trying to click out of my fucking. Alright. Am I even at the top? I'm not even at the top. Wow, that's crazy. It's okay. We're up here to get crevasses now and try to finish off some of these pieces. See, the back frame of this fucking roof situation is a problem. There's dirt on it, and I don't like it. Okay, so that side of the roof's done. This side of the roof is almost done. Pretty sure the underneath here is where our problem is with the roof. There we go. Good. Good motherfucker, no. Well, we go again. Again. The barge board. How's this thing not clean, man? All right, hold up. I was getting underneath here before I fell. Make sure we get all of it before I fucking fall off again like an idiot. There we go. Barge board is clean. This eave is already clean. This ledge is not clean. Why aren't you clean, ledge? Be a cleaner ledge. Be the cleantiest ledge you've ever cleaned. 
You know, we're doing roof now because we're here, so. The best part of getting up to the top of ya. The figurehead. Almost cleaned. I'm not sure. Oh, I see. There's a little spot inside the figurehead's mouth. It needs to be cleaned. Oh, God. Almost didn't make that. And done. Anyway. Oh, God. Well, I didn't quite make it, but I'm pr uh, pretty sure I can get there like I did before. Hold up, though. Hold up. There's some dirty-ass shit up in there, yo. Make sure you get all up in those crevasses. Let's get the overhang on the other side, and then this overhang will probably be done. Or this barge board, whichever happens first. Just make sure it's all clean, man. Make sure it's the cleanest cleaned you've ever cleaned. doing the roof because why not Just trying to get all this surface area dirt done and dealt with make this whole level yo bitch and some of this necromancer music is fucking silly with the fucking guy singing <laughs> fucking shopkeeper of the game so you get a necro dancer funnily enough I think I talked about it when I played Crypt and Necrodancer, but they made a Zelda, uh, like, spin-off game in the series. It's the same type of game, but with Zelda-themed stuff, music and levels and stuff. You play as Link, I believe. Uh, it's called Cadence of Hyrule. And I still haven't played it yet, but I did end up buying it on my Switch, finally, after a while. I had a, um, you know, Christmas money on my Switch. Somebody gave me some Nintendo eShop points. So I was like, alright, fuck it. I'll buy that game when it's on sale, and so I did. But it's like, I already played Cadence of Hyrule, or I already played Crypt of the Necro Dancer. I'm not sure how many people will be super interested in watching me also play Cadence of Hyrule. Other than the fact that it's Zelda music and theme and stuff. I'm sure there's some people who'd be down for it, but it's like, I don't know when the hell I'm going to get to it. I don't really have a huge desire to stream it anytime soon. It's just kind of on my eventual to-do list. Because Crypt of the Necro Dancer was fun. But the aspect of, um, you know, the, the roguelike aspect of the game, which is what the whole game is basically based on, you know, trying to complete a run, you know, get as far as you can before you fuck up and try to complete a run. And the more runs you do, the more stuff you can unlock and have make your runs easier as you go, which is, you know, inherently how a roguelike usually works. Um, I'm sure the Zelda ones are like the same kind of thing, it's just Zelda theme. So I don't know. Just kind of been, have it on the back burner for a someday. So yeah, just wanted to throw that out there that that is a thing. Someday. There's a lot of Zelda content I still got to do, honestly. I've just been trying to slowly knock out some Zelda stuff. And Tears of the Kingdom was a big one, obviously, that we had to get. Because it was the new one that came out and I really wanted to play it. So now that that's done, we can try to sprinkle in Zelda again along the way in my schedule from now on, you know, until another new Zelda game, which hopefully won't be for a long time. Or, I don't know. New Zelda games, I expect, in the future, are either remakes of really old ones, i.e. the Oracle games or something like that, I'm trying to make it like Link's, the Link's Awakening remake, that would be cool. Or, like, even the OG Zelda, they could remake one of those, like Zelda 1 or 2. Um, that would be cool. But otherwise, I only expect them to port Wind Waker and uh, Twilight Princess, finally. From the Wii U versions to the Switch, which should have already happened, and I'm 100% sure they will. I just don't know what the hell they were waiting on. I guess too much other Zelda stuff that they had coming in the waiting in the wings. They wanted to make sure Skyward Sword was available, I guess. I just figured when Skyward Sword came out, they would like release it as a bundle of all three, because they finally got them all out. But whatever, it didn't happen. Skyward Sword is on the Switch, and not Wind Waker or Twilight Princess. Not that I need them on the Switch personally, but a lot of people are waiting on it. 
Because for me, I already got them on the Wii U, and I, I was one of the people who actually got a Wii U, and I've played plenty of games on it, including Twilight Princess and Wind Waker. But I would love to do 100% playthrough of those games at some point. Along with Skyward Sword, sadly. Skyward Sword I have less con uh, less desire to come back to and play, um... What do you call it? Like... What should I say? Play Skyward Sword uh, and do like a three heart run with it. Even though I'm pretty sure you start with like four hearts or something. I forget the exact heart layout for that game. But I know you don't start with three. But I wouldn't want to do a three heart run with that game just because the controls. They get a little bit frustrating sometimes. And nobody wants to blame a three heart failure because the controls fucked with my brain or fucked with my steez. Nobody wants that. So that's why I'm like, if I play Skyward Sword, let's just make it my one playthrough I'm going to do. It'll be a 100% playthrough probably. And that'll be that. But besides Skyward Sword, because I know that's like the only 3D Zelda I haven't done yet at this point. I think. Unless you count the stupid Wind Waker sequels on the 3DS or the DS. Um, uh, I still have other older, like, uh, handheld ones to do, like Minish Cap and uh, Link Between Worlds, which I always forget exists, and I did play it when it came out. I bought my 3DS just to play it, basically. That was, like, my reason for wanting to buy a 3DS was, hey, I want to play the new Zelda. It looks dope. Also, I want to play, you know, the new Pokemon or the new Fire Emblem or whatever at the time. So, uh, it's, you know, 3DS was inevitable. And there was a lot of good RPGs on the 3DS. Bravely Default, another one I would like to do on the channel someday. It's one of those one of those games I started but never finished. Kind of like Octopath. Where I'm like, maybe if I start it again on the channel, I'll finish it. Granted, it's a 3DS game, so I'll have to either emulate it or hope they port it to something else. But, yeah. Because now they have, like, Bravely Default 2, just like they have Octopath 2. I'm like, god damn. So many RPGs, man. I only have so much time. Unless I become an RPG streamer, I'll never do all the RPGs I really want to do, you know? Like, seriously. And sometimes I contemplate that, too. I'm like, man, there's so many games I want to play. Too many of them are RPGs. How do I fit them all in my life? Especially with all the series I've already begun, you know? Like, Trails is a prime example. Like, I, I started a... I opened a can of worms starting that series. And, like, once I finished the Trails in the Sky parts, I'm like, man, I need to just cool my jets and just come back to Trails when I am ready to, like, commit myself to the series because, holy shit, they, and they just keep releasing more games. So many Trails games. It's ridiculous. Like, I'm sure they're all good, too. That's the problem. It's like, man, they're all probably so good, but they're all long games, and they take a lot of commitment, and you gotta learn the story, and meet all these new characters, and I mean, I'm not complaining about all that, because that's what's good about RPGs, but goddamn. Time. That's the problem. Time. And then on top of that, I'm like, I like being an old-school gamer. I want to play more old shit. And here I am playing fucking Power Wash Simulator, a game that's only been out for, like, a few years. Tops. Still playing this shit after it came out, or after I started doing it over a year ago. Started, I started recording and streaming this game over a year ago now, and I still, still working on it. So, you know, like I said, it's only like that with this game because it's not the most riveting thing to watch and or sh commentate over. If I had to do this every day until I finish the game, it's like one level can take two hours, man, or more by yourself. Especially early on when you don't have the good power wash stuff, like the good guns and shit, you're just like, man, this shit took forever. Is this roof done yet? Like, come on, man. There you go. This side's done. I don't think this side's done. Oh, that side is done. I lied. We're good. We good. We Gucci main. Alright, so I already got all this up here, apparently. I guess so. Alright. Let me make sure I get the other sides of this wooden shit up here. We're getting pretty close. I'm already at 81%. I might be able to actually finish this in this sitting. I was a little concerned with this session. I wasn't sure if I was going to have long enough to actually do this temple level because I was kind of waiting on Maro to come home. She's on her way home. or I don't know if she's on her way home yet, but she's out and about right now. <sighs> but I'm expecting her home probably pretty soon. So if I can somehow finish this in probably like 10 minutes, I'll probably be having plenty of time to finish this, but we'll see. 
obviously, you know, 18% left is not much. So we'll get close. I'm thinking I'll probably be able to finish it. Because even if she comes home, that's fine. She won't be like, oh my god, what are you doing? Can okay, I go ahead and finish up? So it should be fine. Alright. Anyway. Uh, so, okay. I want to get up to the top top. Is there a ladder? There's probably a ladder, right? Hold on. We didn't do the front side. Hold up. I know I have the top roof still, but we didn't even come up here yet. Hold on. This is going to be a good chunk of dirt right here. Just got a lot of dirt lots of dirt to cover on this side. Ooh, and there's like a side roof over here, too, that I didn't do. Mother effer. Mother effer. Still got all these buttresses, man. So many buttresses of Windsor. Gotta love the Mega Man. Love your Mega Man now. I'm gonna clean it and Mega Man. He's a Mega Man. He's Mega. Mega Man. Mega Man. He's Mega Man. He's Mega Mega Man. Man. Mega Man. 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 Sorry, I didn't notice what song was playing until like the last couple seconds there. But let me see Mega Man. Especially Mega Man Two. That was Air Man, I believe. I didn't even look over at it, but, you know, I know my fucking Mega Man 2 music. Don't even question my knowledge. What do we got here? Oh, this is some monkey ball shit. All right. <sighs> monkey ball. So that's a playthrough I wanted to do, but then once I started playing the game, it was so intimidating because it's it requires so much precision and patience. And it's so enraging when you fuck things up. It's like it's a fun game, but not easy. Holy shit, not easy. So I was like, I don't know if that's a playthrough I actually intend to ever come back to and finish on stream or anything, or record it or anything. Although I could do it in the same vein as I do this, or I could just record it and make videos out of it. I mean, that's still potentially a thing because I haven't played any more on my own time of that game at all. I thought I might Jones to do so, but nah. I think just the frustration of some of those levels just got me and I was just like, yeah, fuck this game. But like this playthrough, it's like, it's open-ended. Eventually I'll finish it or I won't, you know? Nothing, there's nobody clamoring for it where I'm like, I'm feeling under the gun to finish it, you know? This is definitely one of those playthroughs where I'm like, I'm gonna finish it because I want to, not because I have a fucking millions of people like, please finish Power Watch, we've been waiting all this time. It's like, no you haven't. You've just been waiting for me to play something you want to see me play. Not this. That's why I haven't been too gung-ho about doing more of this all the time. Whenever I have spare... Like, I try to make sure I have at least a couple hours of a window to play, because I never know how long a level is actually going to take me. In this case, I figured I had a little bit over an hour, and, well... I'm not sure where I'm at on time on this right now, but... We're probably not far from an hour on this level, actually... You know what? I'm going to check real quick because I'm not sure. Where am I at on time? 40, 40, oh, I'm like in the 40-something minute range. It's not bad, actually, all things considered. And we're up to 88%. I'm almost at 90% already. Damn, okay. We are kind of killing it. We at 90% when we get this roof part done, for sure. We're we looking at just mopping up, basically. Getting all the pieces done and cleaning these last big patches on the roofs and all that. But we're looking pretty, pretty solid right now. Looking pretty, pretty solid. Get that roof clean as hell, y'all. Clean as hell, y'all. Clean as hell, y'all. Uh, make it clean, it clean as hell. Clean, clean as clean as hell. Get a window frame. Some good cleanage. There we go. Window frame done. Just looking for pieces that I missed. Apparently there was a little bit there that I missed. Good shit. Um, oh shit. I did not mean to fall. No. Okay. Let's get my fucking scaffold on the side over here. We're getting close to being done here. Now we gotta start getting like nooks and crannies. You can only see from certain angles and shit, you know? It's so like this wall right here. Definitely has a lot of little pieces that need to get fucking dealt with, dog. 
Or like underneath this fucking window, maybe? No. Looks like I was smart and I did this one already. Apparently that wall wasn't done. What the fuck is wrong with me? How dare I miss a wall piece? How dare I? That wall is done. This window frame and window is not done, apparently. Let's make sure you get all the pieces of that buttress, y'all. That buttress is uber important. You must make it clean. You must make it the cleanest you ever cleaned. Oh, this whole ledge on the side, because I haven't really been up here yet. Just dirty, dirty, dirty. Hey, the ledge is clean. Nice. I was wondering what the heck I was missing on that ledge. Stop doing that. I don't want to be in this mode. Stop being in this mode. Stop it. Girl, stop it. Kick it if you got it. Girl, stop it. Okay, that wall's done. Good shit. That buttress is done. Look at these butts get clean, yo. Like I said, the lady's like a clean buttress, if you know what I'm saying. If you can keep that buttress clean, you may just become the mean machine. I don't know. I'm just making a rhyme. I should jump over here and try to clean this from close. I haven't really been up under here yet. I haven't been on this side yet. Now that I think about it. Yup. Mopping shit up, yo. 92%. Feeling good about it. Seeing those things go ping, ping, ping is just its so satisfying. Hearing those dings, bro. Get dinged harder. Ding me harder, daddy. Yeah. This shit is getting clean as fuck. Clean as fuck. Clean, clean as fuck. Alright. Looking right nice right now. Looking pretty, 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 pretty yo. Make sure this figurehead is nice and cleaned off. Should be about done. Ah, I fucked up. I didn't mean to fall. Oops. Ah, so close to being done with this piece. Just want to see it done. There it is. Figurehead done. All in the name of keeping that figurehead clean, yo. Alright, let me get the rest of this top part done. Hell yeah. I didn't even get the back side of this damn roofing right here. Hold on. There you go. That's a piece we were missing for show. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. So, holy moly. How close are we to done? I know I got to get up to the top, top roof still. Can I get there from here? Uh, 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 uh. Hold on. I'm almost there. There is a ladder. Oh, who needs a ladder? We're up here. Let's go. This might be the bulk of my last 7% of dirt I need, and then I just gotta clean up the last pieces to make them clean, 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 clean. Hopefully, that is the case. Because this is some dirty, nasty shit up here, yo. But I guess as we wind down on this episode of cleaning, um, yeah, RPGs, man. They really are, like, one of the things I want to play the most but also the most time-consuming thing I have on my docket. Because on top of all the other type of games I want to play also, it's like, I don't want to just be an RPG guy because there's so many other things I want to play besides RPGs. It's just... Ugh. It's just one of those things where it's like, I contemplate it all the time, because if I was an RPG guy, I'd get through more, sure, but also be neglecting all these other games I want to play, and it's like, ugh. Conundrums of a Let's Player slash streamer, or even just, even if I wasn't doing the streaming thing, It'd still be a conundrum to, like, what I want to invest my time in, you know? It's like, because I love Zelda, you know? I love platformers. They're good times. Especially, like, Metroidvania-style platformers. Over the years, they've definitely become probably my go-to favorite type of platformer. Though I like all platformers, really, but... The Metroidvanias have mostly been top-notch for me. I mean, Metroid games in general. I love almost all of them. 
They're all very good. I look forward to Prime remasters, Prime 2 and 3 remasters if they've replaced them like they did the first game. And obviously I would be very high for Metro Prime 4 if it ever actually ends up happening. My only concern with Metro Prime 4 is, at this point, it seems like it's going to be on the Switch 2, or whatever they're going to call that shit. And, uh, well, while I guess I understand, I'm a little sad that they announced it so early, just to have that be the case. I think I need the ladder, as I don't think I can get into the fucking mouth of that thing and get it cleaned. Not the way I want to, anyways. Because that figurehead's almost done. There's still pieces up here I'm missing, bitch. Better get those window frames clean in that tower clean, boy. Get all those little nooks and crannies. You don't miss those crannies, boy. If I can get the ladder up here, that'd be super de duper. There's actually two ladders. Wow. Well, I might be able to, like, double ladder that shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Freak. You know, I just realized I didn't even do this side. Oh my god. Okay. Well, let's put a ladder here and make this clean real quick. Because this is a very under appreciated spot that needs to be cleaned. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's what I like to see. Still a wooden trim I'm missing under here? Where, where's that wooden trim at? What? Oh, whatever. Let me see if I can find the, another spot for this ladder. And I got the other side too. Let's uh, let's make that happen. All right, wooden trim done. Good stuff. Let's get this other freaking roof because this is the last bulk of dirt we have left, and then we just got to finish finding all the pieces we're missing, which is great because that means. We're about to finish this episode pretty soon here. Man, speaking of some old shit, it's more Mega Man shit for you right here. Which is dope. Love me some Mega Man. When it comes to Mega Man, it's like, I'm actually kind of running out of Mega Man games I want to play, other than the Battle Network series, which now has a collection. So, you know, once I decide to commit myself to that collection, who knows what I'm going to do with that. But those games are kind of more RPG-ish because they're like a strategic game a tactical strategic actiony type of battle system which is very interesting i've i've played one of them back in the day on like an emulator and i was just like this is not very mega man it's cool but it's not very mega man other than being mega man themed obviously so i don't know it's definitely something i've thought about doing over the years and now that there's a collection of it it's like i at least gotta commit to giving it a shot especially since mega man's one of my favorite ips that's out there and i've basically touched upon every mega man Know, every part of the Mega Man series I can. I've done all of them. Mega Man 1 through 11. I've done Mega Man X 1 through 8. Um, I played all the Mega Man 0 1 through 4. Oh shit, I forgot about the gnome. I gotta make sure he's up top before this is over. Alright, make sure before I'm on like the last piece, I gotta put him back on the roof. I gotta remember that. I almost forgot about my freaking achievement for this level. That would have been a sad affair if I got to the end and forgot to do that. Ooh. That would have made me sad, actually. It took all this time. Because he's got to be up there before we 100% the job. And that's fine. We have until, you know, it says there's a couple parts left to worry about it. So I'm not worried about it yet. Not worried about it yet. Just trying to get the rest of this last roof piece clean, which I'm pretty sure this isn't, the, this isn't it. I'm sure I'm missing some little pieces in places I was already cleaning earlier. But well, we are at the 99 percentile on the dirt, which is awesome. But as soon as I see those last couple pieces pop up, it's like we're almost done. And that's when we're going to go put the gnome back in his position. I can't, forgot, I can't believe I forgot this fucking roof on this side. But, you know, it happens. It happens to the best of us, I suppose. Alright, the roof and the beam are done. Try to get this figurehead up here done. almost cleaned. Apparently that window frame down there was not. Right. I know that figurehead is almost done. Dang, damn it. Alright, 
is done. And so is that board. Nice. Okay, did I get these buttresses done? No. Buttresses are not done. Why are your butts not done? Be done, butts. Oh, shit. Be a done butt, you done butter. Just a lot of little crevices on this butt that aren't clean yet, I guess. Oh, shit, there's that whole fucking patch right there. That was interesting. Nice. Another clean butt in the books. Okay. What are we missing? The window frame over here is not clean all the way. All right. I mean, I can put the ladder over here and figure out what crevasses are we missing on this window frame. There we go. Oof. There's a lot going on up here that I did not clean. All right. It's fine. Let's get up here. Okay, a lot of underneath Gucci stuff I didn't get here. That's done. Again, until I see those last couple pieces pop up is, you know, not complete. I'm not worried about it yet. But I might have to start looking at the list. I know these figureheads are not all done. I know I've missed at least one of these. Okay, wait. The roof? There's buttress. All these buttresses are not done, damn it. Buttress. That buttress is done. This one's not. Interestingly. Oh, this whole side. Holy crap. Didn't go all the way up on this side. Alright, let me slide over a little bit over here. Let me slide by over here. That buttress still isn't done? What the heck, man? How are you not done? What, I was going to say, what little patch of dirt did I miss? There's always got to be one little patch of dirt that I missed. Alright, this buttress isn't done either. Nor is this one. But these ones, I make sense. Like, I didn't I didn't focus on these two yet, so I understand. There's still a lot of wall over there. That figurehead's not done either, damn it. Alright, buttress done. Come on, buttress. There we go. Okay. Three figureheads, the barge board, and a ledge. I'm not sure what ledge. Like, what's considered a ledge? I know the figureheads. Those are obvious. I'm going to do those last. Um, barge board. Which barge board did I miss? Because the barge boards are the ones on the ends here. They go along with the figureheads, right? That barge board. That figurehead's not done. Okay, the very, very top one's not done. Is this one done? This one's not done either. Let me try and get this one. Actually, let me just get the ladder. Where are you at, ladder? Alright, I'm about ready to take the gnome back up there, too. But let me get up under this fucking gnome, or this fucking figurehead and... Uh, okay, where's the other ladder at? I'm gonna put them both up here. Put both ladders up on this side. So I can get this fucking figurehead done done and over with. Ah! Freaking ladders, man. Cooperate. I'm almost done here. Oh my god. Please. For the love of all that is not cooperating. Cooperate. It's like, I can't even get the angle I want with the ladder. That's the annoying part, is I can't get the angle I want. I really can't, which is sad. It's the saddest thing I've ever seen in my life. Alright, first of all, let me grab this dang gnome. Because we're going to put him up there where he belongs. Up on the roof where he belongs. Can't jump while I'm holding him, apparently. Apparently not. Alright. Up on the roof with you, boy. Can we just set him down? Problem is, I don't want him to fall off the roof, right?
All right, figurehead up here, done. Is this figurehead done? No. All right, hold up. The figurehead up top top is not done. All right, let me get up there if I can. How'd I get up there before, man? I was, I think I just went up the side up here. Two more figureheads to finish up. God, such a pain in the ass level to fucking wrap up. But... Now, this figurehead is not done. Awesome. Okay. That figurehead is done. Shit, I knocked the fucking gnome off the roof, didn't I? I think I did. Where did he go? No, seriously, where did he go? Fuck. I knew I was gonna do that. Alright, hold up. I gotta put him back up there before I forget, man. I'm not fucking this up. We're so close to done, I'm not losing this because I didn't fucking keep the damn gnome up here. I got the figureheads I needed on that side. Let me just find the last one that's not done. Not that one. Is it this one on this side? Not that one. Is it this one? No, that's a barge board. This barge board is done. Is this one? Figurehead's done. Is it on the front? The barge board up here is not done. Okay, cool. That's the barge board I'm missing somehow. It's probably the whole fucking front that I'm missing, watch. Holy shit, yes it is. Jesus, look at all this dirt up here that I missed. What's wrong with me, man? This is probably the ledge I'm missing too, shit. Get all the rest of this damn dirt off of here. Alright, barge board done. Good shit. So still missing a ledge and the last figurehead. Which figurehead am I missing? It's not that one. It's not that one. It's not this one. It's not one of the ones on the very top because I got those two. So which fucking one am I missing? This one? No. Also, what the hell's the ledge? It is this one that I'm missing. Mother effer. I thought I got both of the ones up here. I was wrong. I was wrong. It was this one. There it is. Okay. The ledge. What is the ledge? Is the ledge something like on the bottom bottom and I'm stupid? I feel like the ledge is something on the bottom. Buttress. I'm just looking for the word ledge at this point. Is there a lot of ledges or is it just the one? Ledge, ledge, ledge. Where is that? Ledges. There's two ledges in the whole fucking thing. Which means it might be something in the beginning. Pedestal, wall, barge overhang, door. I'm just looking for the word ledge. Is the gnome still up there? Okay, good. That's all I care about right now. Ledge, ledge, ledge. I'm looking for the word ledge. Over the ledge. Is that the ledge? That's the ledge. Okay, I found it. Found it. There's two pieces of it, that's the problem. Or there's one in the front and one in the back. It's the one in the back that we're missing. Completion imminent. Come on, baby, give me that ledge. Yes! Questo to clean it. Complete. Let's watch as I clean this temple in all its glory. Beautiful thing. I really went around in circles on this one, though. But we done did it. Aw, oh, yeah. All right, guys. Awesome. And it looks like we unlocked the washroom. Oh, boy. Who wants to clean the bathroom? Next time on Power Wash Simulator, in the bathroom. I guess I'll see you guys when we do that. Peace.